Hey, Angel, how are you doing today? Hey, Trey. Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? Thanks for, thanks for coming down, kind of. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> virtually, virtually. Virtually, um, yeah. Virtually, yeah. Thank, thank you so much for chatting with me about this film. I enjoyed it so, so much. Um, and your character and his, um, you know, journey um, throughout the film as well. So I wanted to ask, were you a fan of the comic books and the um, previous films before joining this project? Or did you come on as sort of like a true newcomer to everything? Pretty much a, a, a newcomer. Uh, and also because it's, you know, we're rebooting and uh, uh, um, reinventing, I guess, the uh, 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 things. I think that was, you know, it kind of worked in my favor, mm -hmm. you know. Obviously, did the fan research, you know, what uh, trying to get to just, I think, is any, uh, you know, fans are great resources to find out who the character is that you, you know, who, who he is. So I think that it was a big crash course in my education uh, for Storm Shadow in particular. Yeah. I'd say I was a newcomer. Um, I did watch the films um, after I got cast and I was aware of it, aware of the G.I. Joe universe, um, the action figures and the comic books. But um, I grew up in a pretty girly household, um, so I never got to got that introduction into the world um, before the film. But now, like, I've done my research and I'm going to um, um, make my um, nieces and nephews uh, watch, watch them and read them and play with the action figures, for sure. A.K.A. Storm Shadow. Um, you know, his motivations in this movie and about his dynamic with Snake Eyes and how that kind of, you know, morphs and changes as the, as the, um, the movie goes forward. Um, yeah, I think, well, Tommy, uh, he's got a lot of layers to him. Uh, I think so. He's, you know, dedicated his whole life to, to serving the Arashikage clan. Um, and I think he has a vision for the future. I don't think he has a vision. He has a vision for the future, yeah. And he's, he's got, uh, he, he's like, I want to see the world like this. And um, I think because of his dedication and sacrifice, uh, uh, and he, I think, he, and he, his also desire, still human, desires family. And I think he sees, he, you know, something in Snake Eyes um, that um, is part of his future, the vision for his future going forward. I think, you know, he sees Snake Eyes as someone, as an outsider, but that's, that's good, like, for, for the clan. He needs someone who thinks outside the box, thinks a bit differently, who also can hold his own in a fight. Um, so I think, you know, the... the, the uh, uh, but I think his, maybe, desire for family is maybe what blindsides him to uh, uh, Snake Eyes, and I think that is what is explored, you know? We, we, it's about him projecting something onto Snake Eyes and then seeing that, you know, the, that projection. And I think it's just a, it's a relationship, isn't it? That's, you know, blood brothers, brothers have become blood brothers and, and all that, I think is such an intricate, um, it's very intricate, you know, two, two, two alpha males, you know, who, but who have the same kind of similar uh, 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 vision or trajectory uh, and how they can come together, how they can uh, break apart and all that stuff. And, uh, yin and yang, right? Yin and yang, Trey. Yeah. And you start in the very great series Warrior. I'm so excited it's coming um, to oh. Max. Um, and what are some ways that you think that working on Warrior um, prepared you for your role in Snake Eyes? Yeah, well, everything, man. Like, you know, you, 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 you do one job and you take what you've learned from one and you, you take it to the next, take the next, all that stuff. Um, so Warrior, I, I learned, you know, so much, so much, it changed my life. Um, and this, this, uh, you know, going, uh, I knew it, I probably wouldn't be able to, you know, I probably wouldn't have even uh, been uh, chosen to do Storm Shadow if I weren't for Warrior, but also wouldn't have been prepared for it, you know. So I think um, Doing that, I could do the physicality as well, and also the acting that I learned from all these other great actors on, on Warrior that I could bring in to this. Um, so all the knowledge and the experience, yeah, you just take going forward one at a time, you know? And uh, let's talk about your character. I love her so much, she's such a badass. Um, and I feel like she was like, she kept snake eyes on his toes the entire film. Um, can you talk about her dynamic with snake eyes and also her dynamic with um, Storm Shadow and how um, both of these relationships kind of um, progressed throughout the film? So um, Akiko is uh, Marashikage's head of security. 
and she is um it's kind of um you kind of uh find out in the film that she was actually once an outsider much like snake eyes um who was taken into the clan and um you know trained hard and rose through the ranks and became the head of security so she's the clan means everything to her and she is very fiercely um loyal and protective of the clan so she butt heads with tommy a lot um over what they think is best for the clan and uh, with snake eyes akiko is very wary of this complete stranger that tommy suddenly brought home um so she's very suspicious of him at first but she's also kind of intrigued by him at the same time because you know of the common past they had um so there's a very interesting dynamic there and um yeah i think uh there's um with snake eyes i think they with akiko and snake eyes they do become um closer um in the film whereas with storm shadow it's still yes yeah, um i think they respect each other a lot mm. but um they don't necessarily see eye to eye all the time yeah yeah and one theme i would say in the movie is kind of like this search for family like a chosen family kind of like with your character keep going and as well as snake eyes um what do you think is or some other themes that you think that viewers will be able to take away from this film after watching it hmm well i think um loyalty uh having like somewhere you feel like you belong um how important that is and um yeah friendship um brotherhood um redemption um that kind of stuff let's talk about your character of baroness too because she's very dynamic and um i feel like throughout the movie um you know she has she has motivations of her own like we see you know her switching a little bit so what did you like about playing this character and what do you think fans will be surprised um by your character i like everything about the baroness <laughs> <laughs> you know um i thought it would be a very very fun character to play mm. she is um she's a badass she is she's is. she's super playful she's always in control of everything mm -hmm. uh she knows perfectly what she wants and she get that so um yeah um i was like yeah i definitely want to do this i'm <laughs> i will be happy and i'm i'm going to have so much fun so i wasn't wrong <laughs> it was it was you know it it was all about feeling the power and that was everything yeah yeah and you are such a fan favorite on netflix's money heist um la casa de papel and um what do you i love how you say la casa de papel <laughs> yeah, yeah. can you repeat it for me please la casa de papel amazing <laughs> It's it's you know it's it's a little a few years of um Spanish and you just just was watching Money Heist and Elite on Netflix. <laughs> but oh, um oh. yes. So with fans of Money Heist that may not be familiar with um the GI Joe um film series before, how do you think um Money Heist fans will be able to come into this film and enjoy it as well? Why not? <laughs> of course, it's all about um half having fun right mm -hmm. and i think this is um this this is a very funny movie mm -hmm. um yeah um you know i think they they they're going to love it it's different but because you know tokyo it's like i said but it's more like suffering non stop all the time <laughs> and both, they are both the series both the series and the movie have twists and turns in them too so i think fans would enjoy enjoy just the same yes me too and i think they 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 are very different projects mm -hmm. and especially myself i have very different characters but that's the funny thing so people will see me in a different you know um genre 
Can you say that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about showing my first villain in my career. Mm -hmm. And and it was very, very satisfying to play the Baroness. So I think people will love it. <laughs>